Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. And as you can see from the title of this video, I want to talk about how Carlos King has now been added to the chat of major drama surrounding basketball wives. And also, I want to go over, you know, the new cast photos for season seven of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, before we get into all this info, I ask that you please hit the like button on this video. Then YouTube will recommend this video to more people who love to discuss, you know, celebrity gossip, celebrity tea. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. Certainly, everything that I'm saying in this video is alleged and just my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So tell me, y'all, have y'all been following all this Basketball Wives drama that just popped off yesterday? Have you? Because it is a lot. Your girl, while working yesterday, I was a screenshotting fool. I managed to go on to Sunday Carter's IG stories because, you know, they just last for 24 hours. So I was screenshotting everything. And it's really, really deep. It is really deep. It is a lot. And some of you may be wondering, who the heck is Sunday Carter? And how does Carlos tie into it? So just put on your seatbelt. We have to go the speed limit. Ebony cannot go above the speed limit. They give out tickets out here, and especially to Black folks. So we have to just take our time and go the speed limit because, like I said, it is a lot. So Sunday Carter, she was on the earlier, earlier seasons of Basketball Wives, the ones that I prefer. And, you know, back when Drea was on there, you know, a Sunday and Drea, they fought. Sunday called herself like shaming Drea for being a stripper. She like called Drea by her stripper name, Miami. She was like, yeah, Miami. And, you know, for a hot second, it like threw Drea off. But, you know, Drea was like, yes, yep, I sure was. I was a stripper, you know, and and Sunday just never really saw it for her. And they did have a physical altercation. But, you know, we have not seen Sunday on the show in quite a while but in fact she says that she has been blackballed and she accuses jackie christie of allegedly stealing some of what sounds like her intellectual property for a tv show and she is accusing jackie from what i interpreted from the ig stories of preventing sunday carter from returning to basketball wives you know um jackie christie is saying you know she will not film if sunday is brought back so sunday became extremely activated and she made several instagram stories where she was tagging people where allegedly Jackie Christie has talked ill about them. She was tagging them, including OG, saying, you know, that Jackie says that you wear fake Louboutins, you know, and anyone that she pretty much talked about, she tagged and said, Jackie talks ish about you too. She even tagged Evelyn and said, Evelyn, I have a text thread where both Jackie and I are talking about you. She even accused Jackie of sending her nudes of Jennifer Williams. And it was just really juicy and really deep. She also talked about Malaysia, whom we know is no longer on Basketball Wives. You know Malaysia has moved to Atlanta and she is featured on Carlos King's Bold and Bougie show. And that leads me to reading this um, IG story. So Sunday Carter says she tags Malaysia. Sorry to drag you into this, but since we're here, Jackie Christie feels that you let the girls run you off the show and tricked you out of your bag and how that could never be her. Jackie Christie believes that you were having a mental breakdown when a few things about your lack of finances were exposed. I guess you were venting slash crying to her while allegedly saying how you were done with the show after the embarrassment and mean girl treatment. These are all allegations. I have no idea if this is true. 
So then she posts another story. It says, you know, since you're at it, who are the newbies on season 12, though? And a Sunday says, well, I gave her 30 minutes and she lives on IG. So I know she got the message. It really is as easy as her apologizing. Anyway, in reference to what was allegedly said about Malaysia, is this true? And then she tags Carlos King. And then someone replies, this is true. Malaysia told Carlos King the same thing in her recent interview with him. She said she went into the car after that particular scene and told Jackie that she's done with the show. Now, I just feel like it is amazing, like on a cosmic level, or you may say spiritual level, it's a trip how this guy gets pulled into drama. This is a totally different show, totally different network. The, the core argument is between Sunday Carter and Jackie Christie over an idea for a TV show. And with Sunday exposing Jackie for talking ish about people behind their backs, allegedly, it ties into Carlos King. I'm sure that he was probably tickled and probably even excited that he was tagged and brought into it. My guess is, is that he and Sunday are coordinating for when he will interview her in person to go over all of these accusations. Now, you know, it's been a day, of course, so all those IG stories that she posted, those would have expired, but these are certainly on Sunday Carter's Instagram, where you can check them out for yourself. Y'all let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about all of the accusations that Sunday uh, laid out concerning Jackie Christie, because again, I was a screenshotting fool yesterday, and I got them all, and we can go through them together. Just you say the word, y'all. I just don't know. I know everybody's not into basketball wives anymore. You know, again, I miss those old, old seasons. But she mentioned so many people, y'all. It is deeper than the ocean. So you let me know. Y'all say the word and I will make the video. So then also, um, Carlos King posted on his IG stories, me driving to the own headquarters to get my hands on the LAMH trailer child. So I'm guessing that very soon, I was thinking it was going to be by next Monday for the Messy Monday show, he was going to drop uh, the trailer. But it sounds like we may get it tonight. I'm pretty sure that he is also checking out Queen Sheba's interview with Winter. So after this video, I'm going to be watching that video so that I can take my notes, honey, because I know that that is juicy. But I just wanted to play this video from his IG stories for you. So of course, I do not want there to be an echo. So I'm going to mute my mic and then I'll play his IG stories. Thank you. Huntsville is back, and we have a new couple, and Destiny Child is back, and maybe I feel gracious enough to give y'all the trailer later today. It depends how y'all treat me. Stay tuned. Ah! Lord, I think I'm the shit, big as it gets, which comes a break. Okay, so there was that music on that last IG story. Okay, so let's get into the season seven cast photo look. So I love the black and white. They obviously bit off of Melody's black and white season and they adopted that look um, for the season seven photos. And um, they put like Martell's picture next to Melody. That is so annoying. Oh my gosh. Like put Destiny up there or something next to her or put Melody next to the new couple, almost like she's introducing the new couple to us. And then put Martell down in this corner next to Destiny. So annoying. But I love Melody's dress. It is strapless and it almost looks like the top 
kind of gives like silver, but like a black silver look. And it's like corset type. And the, the black skirt on the bottom, it almost looks like it's velour. Very cute. And I love the um, shorter blonde hair. It is so reminiscent of season one of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And you all have heard me say in another video, I feel like symbolically her going back to that look hair wise for season one it feels like because this is season seven seven is a complete number god's a uh, number of completion so i felt like it was very symbolic to that and uh, martel he's in all white it looks like he rented a groom's tuxedo like a, it looks like he went to a tuxedo store and they gave him like what the groom would get for a wedding or he looks like he's working valet and then we have kimmy and maurice um i like kimmy's dress i think i don't think she needed the gloves that's kind of a thing right now that's also annoying where they're adding gloves to every single ball gown look like why and then hers are kind of like this sheer thing going on i think she could have done without the gloves and um yeah the dress is cute and maurice just looks like he's just wearing you know all black then we have um tisha and marceau tisha's wearing you know a, a black gown it looks fitted kind of like a mermaid look not bad she too is wearing gloves hers looks better than kimmy's kimmy's really just looks odd because it's like white sheer gloves kimmy's gloves look cheaper cheaper than the gown and I just don't like it. Uh, Tisha's blends a lot better and it looks like she's wearing a bracelet on the uh, right wrist. That is a nice touch. I like the makeup and I like the hair. It's not too dramatic, doesn't look super fake. Nice collarbone length. I guess Marceau is trying to go for a sexy look by having the, the, the neckwear undone. So, um, but no, because he doesn't turn me on. So I don't like that. And then we have um, Courtney and Stormy. And so I feel like this picture does not do her justice on her IG stories. There was a better picture of her and Courtney together. And the dress is cute. It's, it's short, but it does have like, like the tail, the train in the back. It's, it's not bad. I feel like her gloves, again, is better suited versus Kimmy's white sheer gloves. And then we have the Fletchers. Um, they look fine. Nothing like really stands out about like Nell's gown. She's wearing the white gloves. I do not like them, um, but nothing really stands out. She changed her hair. She doesn't have her signature pony, the top up, you know, half up, half down. So that's good. That's a nice change. But yeah, nothing other than that come through legs on Miss Fletcher. And I like her shoes. Her shoes are very cute. And Chris Fletcher, you know, he's always pretty debonair. He doesn't really have to do much. Um, his looks are always effortless. So yeah, he always looks good. Then we have uh, Destiny. Destiny's dress, it looks like it's a halter and the halter straps are like sheer. That's a creative touch on whoever designed the dress. That's nice. And similarly to those sheer halter straps, her gloves are black sheer. I think that is nice. That is uh, coordinated. Very high split. Um, I imagine definitely she's not wearing undies. And um, yeah, very sexy dress. The hair is cute, very whimsical, very simple. So um, I think she looks nice. Then we have the new couple introducing Moses and Sonny. And Moses, he looks fine. He's in black and white. He's in his black and white season. I do feel like his look is better than Martel's and Maurice's. Um, gives some edge, but not too much. Sunny is wearing a gown. The gown, I, of course, we're just seeing the side view. It looks very conservative. It looks like it might even be a little too big for her. Um, it gives very like 80s bridesmaid um, off the shoulders like that and the black gloves. 
so I, I don't like it. I'm sorry, I don't. And um, those are the are the looks. I love the black and white. Um, I feel like best is Melody Sheree and Destiny, and I would say then Chris Fletcher and uh, Tisha. And you know, let me know what did you all think about these looks. I am getting excited. The show returns on May 4th. So that is literally just in three more weeks. Then the show will be back. So time goes by fast. I imagine, you know, this week or tonight, the trailer will drop for season seven of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I will definitely make a video for it, of course. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I always appreciate the support. Please hit the like button on this video. It is a free way of supporting the channel. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. All right, I am going to watch Queen Sheba's interview with Winter from Love and Marriage DC. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.